Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again. Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so, guys, I'm just going to give you guys a little reading because um, I've been guided to give you another reading today. Um, my readings are timeless, so whenever you come across you, this reading, um, it's for you. Um, and it's a general reading, so if the reading doesn't resonate, um, you may want to ch check out another reader to get a bit more guidance. And if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, if any of you guys are interested in any crystal necklaces, I also make crystal necklaces as well. If you're feeling a bit stuck on your journey as well, um, you can check out my Instagram page as well for crystal necklaces as well. Um, all right, guys, so let's just begin anyway. It's begun, mate. And then the first card that come out is imagine. And then the card says, what you see, feel, think, and hear. What? Oh, sorry. What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish could come true? So what I get for that straight away is, um, this card is about manifesting. Because um, right now, um, the way the energies are, um, I don't know if it's for anyone else, but for me, um, manifesting is almost instant um, so whatever you're feeling internally will be reflected externally um, so if you're got turmoil and chaos internally turmoil, turmoil and chaos is going to be um, projected externally um, so what this card is basically saying is once you um, it's kind of It's basically saying to try work, do some inner work on yourself to try to change what you feel is blocking you. And then you'll be able to manifest what you want in the external world. Because, oh, no, and also, some of you guys need to do some inner child work or you're currently doing some inner child work. So things may be coming up from you, like past traumas and stuff, to be healed and released. Because manifesting is a lot to do with child work and imagination. Um that come up in my my last vid, um, vi channeled video from Adam, I think, as well. Um, so, yeah, some of you guys may be doing some inner child work um, or being guided to do some inner child work um, because, yeah, the manifesting, the manifesting is all almost instant, man, um, because we're go going into a... Um, well, no, we're already in, actually, the age of Aquarius. It's an air energy, so... Um, yeah, what you think materializes. Um, so be careful, um, be mindful of what you're thinking and feeling, um, because the universe doesn't care what you think or feel. Um, it will just deliver, innit? That's what I'm saying. Um, so be mindful of what you're feel feeling and thinking, and try to aff affirmations may help, and also, yeah, we can't be positive all the time, but try. Um, focus more on the positive than the negatives right now. Um, so if if you're a light worker, here we go. We've got more messages. If you're a light worker, we're here to transmute the energy. So if you've got having negative situations happen to you, um, let that let them flow through you. Don't hold on to them because most of the time they're not even yours. Um, which took me a while to actually understand. And then your next card is you are gifted. And the card says, you are very intelligent and talented. All right, some of you are, some of you know you've got gifts or powers. Um, like you may be an empath, you may be able to read people's energy, you may be also psychic, you may be a medium. Um, but use a doubt in your own power and the people that you, you basically... Dampen down your power and who you are for the people you hang around. Maybe you're a bit shy or embarrassed to let your show your full potential and show who you really are. So say for instance you're really spiritual when you're at home alone, but with your friends you're acting like you're into what they're into really, kind of being lying and being fake to yourself really. But um, this card is just basically saying you're gifted and you are talented and you are unique don't be who you want 
be who you truly are. Don't um, dampen down your power just to fit in with the the fit in with everyone else because everyone else is already trying to be like everyone else. Why do you want to be like everyone else? Stand out and be who you truly are. Sometimes it can be um, a bit scary and um, yeah, sometimes it can be a bit scary of standing on your road and um, maybe some, maybe some of you fear being judged. Um, but yeah, man, don't, don't, you're unique. You don't want to be like everyone else. Everyone else is already trying to be like everyone else. Be who you, you, you are and who you want to be. And then you attract the people who are actually for you. It's like, yeah, you attract people who are actually for, yeah. <laughs> and then your card is, look, definitely yes. So some of, like, this is just clarifying the, your gifted card. And the answer you, you, the, uh, and the card says, the answer to your question is a strong yes so yeah it's time to basically stand in your power and be who you you really are don't dampen down your energy to try fit in with others um because everyone else like i said before everyone else is already trying to be like everyone else why do you want to be like everyone else you're unique no one no one no there is no other you there's no other you yeah um yeah, yeah, don't dampen that because there's a strong message for someone. Don't dampen you've been dampening down your energy for too long. Um, to try and maybe fit in with friends. Um, if fr your friends are all doing the 3D shit, want to want to go out from Friday to Sunday or go out every weekend, you don't have to be a part of that just to feel like you've got to fit in. Fuck that to be who you want to be if you want to sit. Like, if they're all going out partying and you want to go go out grounded or go into nature, go out into nature. Do what you want to do. Don't be, um, because, yeah, that partying, that 3D shit ain't going to be around for much longer, mate. That's what I'm saying. Because where we're going energy-wise, yeah, a lot of that 3D stuff um, ain't going to be around. Um, or gonna, it's not going to be fulfilling for much longer. Of where we're going, um... You need real fulfillment, should I say. Stuff that nourishes your soul, not the ego right about now. Because it's mad, the energy that's coming in. Um, so yeah, you've definitely got to question yourself. Question, question, question yourself. Where do you want to be? Are the people you're hanging around, are they serving your highest good? Um, are your friends and family um, encouraging you on what you want to do on your path? Are you encouraging yourself what you want to do on your path? Sometimes it takes, um, some, but also you have to kind of step out of your comfort zone because, yeah, sitting in your comfort zone, the energy is going to be stagnant and nothing's going to be going. Um, so technically, in a way, you're kind of uh, dying in a way because the en energy needs, energy is is always flowing. So, um, yeah, if you're being, if you're stagnant and not taking action. Um, yeah, the energy isn't going anywhere, so it's been stagnant and it can cause physical problems. But not to say that you're not in a hermit mode phase. Like, you may be like, not doing anything externally, but you're actually doing a lot internally. So don't get confused with um, the two, because you, you can be doing a lot of inner work and not be active externally. Or you can be active externally, but it's not nourishing your soul, if that makes sense. And then, yeah, the next card is the side. And the card says, it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Like I was saying before, yeah, you got to make a decision about what you want, man. Where do you want to be? What what nourishes your soul? Um, <coughs> because that 3D stuff isn't going to be around for much longer. you got to find stuff that um, is, is nourishing your soul, man. Um, connections, relationships, um, f um, jobs, interests. Do stuff that makes you happy. Um, because where we're going, we're going to be working from, uh, um, collectively, we're going to be working as one. Um, so say for instance, a lot of people that I know, they're getting called to do a lot of working with, uh, to getting called to work with children. Um, whether that's volunteering, whether it's being a teacher, whether it's being a caretaker, but a lot of people that I know, for some strange reason, they're just getting guided to work with children, and so am I. So um, that's more of a collective decision. So 
this is not that I don't I, don't get me wrong I love kids and that but that um yeah I wasn't expecting that but I can see why I can see where it's going um so yeah you got to sit back and write down and do a little journal of where you want to be what you want and what you want to manifest as well and that come out right under the manifesting card as well the imagine card um yeah some of you's got to decide some of you yeah some of you's got to decide some of you's a, a relationship no longer serves you as well um yeah this is that's more of like uh the relationship I'm talking about is just more sex orientated. It's not, it's not nothing. It's not nothing too deep. That message is someone for just someone out there. I'm just the messenger, guys. Yeah, the, that relationship. It's just a three D, three D thing. And sex might be good, but is it nourishing your soul? Because if it ain't nourishing your soul, you're just working, having, you're it's just exercising basically. As I see it, and then the next card is love your parents. And then the card says, no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So, yeah, what I get from that is a lot of um, a lot of past trauma. May, some of you may have um, parents is, parent issues. Some of you may have abandonment issues. Um, so that may be co um, coming to the surface at the moment to be healed and released. And not to kind of... Um, what When you've had mother and father issues it can be very hard because um they they can be very hard because what they put you through you've experienced and that's the person you've become basically to a certain degree but um that your parents can only love you from an understanding of love that they received as children or whatever, if that makes sense. Not just love, just certain situations. So say, for instance, your parents are very stubborn or not forgiving or not too um, thoughtful, should I say. That is because that is just from their programming and their upbringing and their life experience. So you need to try to try to take a step back and see it from a different point of view. And if you're kind of struggling with that as well, with loving your parents um, because they've wronged you during during childhood or growing up, um, just try to forgive them for yourself and then try to move on for that. And yeah, they, they was only trying their best as well um, because... Yeah, being a parent doesn't come with a manual. And being a parent is not easy. And I can tell you that from experience, yeah. Um, but yeah, once you start working on the... Um, as soon as you start working on the loving your parents, um, the rest of your... Um, most of your traumas will just fall into... Will be healed, basically. Because um, that's what I experienced. Uh, but it does take a while. It does take a while. But um, yeah, work on forgiveness and self-love. Like I'm saying, the heart chakra once again, guys. Um, forgiveness, self-love, loving yourself and others. The heart chakra, man. And like I'm saying, if any of you are interested in a crystal necklace um, to help, help heal the heart chakra, send me a DM on Instagram or send me a an email and I can hook you up with some spiritual bling bling. Yeah, <laughs> you lot are funny, you know. <laughs> Look, and then the next card is creative. He's not funny. Draw, paint, think, and act in creative ways. He's not. Um, yeah, so but you, you, some of you are being called to do some inner child work or express your inner child. Um, some of you may be singers or some of you may used to like drawing as a kid. Some of you may like painting. Um, some of you may just like being outside and just running wild. You don't have to run wild, but like being out in nature, being free-spirited, being able to walk for ages and not being able to deal with um, the 3D shit. Basically, when you're doing the things that you used to like doing as a kid, um, as an adult, you're winning in life. Oh God, you're winning because you're. We we've got a lot of grown adults walking around as hurt kids because they've just been neglecting their inner child. If you ask a lot of people, what is your what's your hobby or what's your passion or what do you, or what do you like doing? A lot of people will just say watching Netflix or binging something. No, no one, a lot of people don't actually let their inner child out and nourish their inner child. And that's where all the main healing is, is the inner child. Once you, that's the main thing. We're trying to get back to being our inner child um, before the trauma and all that stuff happened to us when life took over. Because there was a certain point where you used to love being outside, you used to love life, but then the 3D stuff got in the way and then our e ego put up barriers and um, shields to protect us from from that. 
from the outside world, but where we're going, you don't need them shields and them boundaries and the armor, man, because, um, yeah, that happened to us. It doesn't mean everything is always going to be like that, man. So, like, yeah, if you had a relationship that happened to you, like, five years ago, ten years ago, um, you don't need to have them. Yes, yeah, so, all right, it had a certain lesson in there for you to learn, but not everyone's going to be like that certain partner that you had. I'm just using that as an example. Because you might meet the love of your life, but if you've got all your boundaries up and all your armor, how are you going to let them in? How are you going to love them or let them love you if you've got all this armor up thinking they're going to hurt you? It's about being vulnerable and being open. Heart chakra once again, guys. So yeah, some of you may be, um, some of you may work with um, fairies. Um, some of you need to drink more water as well. Some of you are dehydrated as shit. Um, but yeah, some of you may be doing inner child work right now. But that card is basically saying, um, yeah, to do something in the child work. It will help you progress. And the next card is best friends. And then the card says, true friends stick together no matter, no matter what. What I'm getting for that is, um, yeah, there's, there's shifts happening. There's shifts happening. Um... And it's quite painful, it can be quite sad. Not sad, but we're, we're, people grow and change. So because you you may have had a, had a best friend or someone you thought was very, you was very close to, um, if your energy and you're doing inner work and you're growing and changing and they're not, you, um, you're no longer gonna resonate with each other, unfortunately, because it happened to me and it kind of sucks, man. But that's okay, um, because not everyone is going to where you're going. So you just got to send them loving energy and just accept that um, they may come back round in your life. They may come back round, but at this point in time, um, <coughs> um, yeah, you may just not resonate with each other at the moment. Um, so, because, yeah, you're growing and changing is what I'm getting. Some of you, um, your best friend may get in contact with you. You may not have heard from them in a while. Um but yeah, your best friend, if they're really your best friend, no matter what happens, you'd be able to speak to them on a level, um, f whatever you're going through, and they should be able to do the same. And it should be a balanced energy of give and take, um, not just giving and just not receiving. Um, but yeah, some of you, your best friend might get in contact with you, or you may meet your your best friend, because sometimes you, you can meet um, new friends and they could be better than your old friends. Just saying, man. Um, the universe just looks works wild man people who's meant to be there will be there and people who's not they'll slowly depart and then the next card is slim simplicity and then the card says put your energy into the basic the basics and let go of the access so yeah you're being called to right now just worry about what things are important don't try and worry about everything that's going on um because the energy is a bit chaotic right now so you um you need to just kind of focus on the main problems or things that need to get done right now. So say for instance, you've got a lot of phone calls you need to make. Yeah, okay, prioritize them, get them phone calls out of the way. And if you're feeling tired, after you made a, a couple phone calls, go and rest. You ain't gotta be stuck on hold all day long trying to get them all battered out of the way. Priori prioritize, you could do one Monday, one Tuesday, or maybe one Monday and maybe one Wednesday. Um, to give yourself a break on Tuesday because all that 3D stuff can be very stressful. Um, so yeah, you've been called to just simplify your life at the moment and just do the bare minimum. Because some of you are doing a lot of inner work right now. Um, some of you need to go out into nature and ground as well. Um, and then the next card is family culture. And then the card says, learn more about your family's stories and history. Um, yeah. So once again, what for, what I'm getting for that is some of you need to um, ask your family members about your the history of your family. Where where is your origin? Where did you come from? Where did your mum your dad come from? Where did your mum come from? Um, because in, once you start understanding a bit of um, getting a bit more family background, you can start understanding who you are. And certain questions like, oh yeah, that's where I get my nose from, or my hair is really dark, or um, you start finding out who you are. You might not get all the questions, but then once you get little bits and pieces, you can start p picture, um, 
fixing the puzzle together, if that makes sense. So yeah, some of you are getting called to do a bit of family culture and it also can bring family members together as well. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's your reading, guys. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, because I see a lot of you guys watching, but I don't see a lot of you guys liking. And like I said before, if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, you can send me an email or you can send me a DM on Instagram, like I was saying before as well. If any of you are also interested in some healing crystal bling bling, you can send me an email or send me a, e a DM on Instagram. I will say make um, bracelets and anklets as well for you females out there as well. Um, but peace, love and light tribe and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon.